hey folks, um, I'm making another vlog here and I'm going to disable the comments because I don't like to do more than two videos in a week's time, um, mainly because I know folks are pressed for time and, uh, and I don't want them to feel like they have to comment uh, when they got other things to do. And, um, but I'll disable the comments and the ratings, but if you want to watch it, fine. And um, this is my YouTube story. Um, I just got a reply in an email from a person who suffers from multiple chemical sensitivity. Um, I had posted on her video and she answered uh, my comment. Um, I've always been apprehensive come on here and talk about my personal life. Um, as many of you know, I have some physical health problems. Um, I am a, right now I'm currently a cancer patient in a study. I don't look like a cancer patient, number one, because the drugs I'm on, Herceptin and Ticurb, do not cause hair loss, weight loss, or any bad side effects other than a lot of fatigue and very tiny stomach upset. Sometimes I'm tired, I'm fatigued from this, that's why I'm not on the internet a whole lot, as I should be. Um, and, um, you know, other than that, I mean, this has been a fantastic study, and I just found out because of my progress uh, in the study, they're gonna let other women in on the study, so, uh, this this is cutting edge. It doesn't make the news as much, but it's cutting edge, and many women are doing very well on these two drugs. Um, but I had another health problem I've never talked about, and that is multiple chemical sensitivity. Um, and the reason I've never talked about that is because you know I don't. I'm just not one to talk about my personal life. I think well, we've all got our problems and. You know why I get on YouTube and talk about it but I thought well, maybe I could provide somebody a service um, that maybe suffers from this first off when I got multiple chemical sensitivity six years ago there really wasn't any people really didn't understand anything about this disease in fact you were told it was all in your head you were imagining it you know it just it doesn't exist um, and uh, what happened with me, multiple chemical sensitivity and environmental disease. We had new carpet installed in our home six years ago, and it made me very sick. I became bedridden. Uh, I had terrible respiratory problems, sinus problems, throat closing up, asthma. Uh, what happened was all the chemicals in the carpet um, formaldehyde, which was off-gassing, phenol, it, all that was irritating the respiratory system. And once you get this, you pretty much will develop an allergy to lots of chemicals. And our, our you know, our world's a chemical waste dump. So, you know, anything from people having hairspray and perfume on to bleaches, gas fumes, new carpets and buildings, can make you sick. Now, I have gotten much better. Um, I can tolerate these things now because I've made my, we ripped out all the new carpet. My home's pretty safe. I sleep on an organic cotton mattress. We don't use, I don't use harsh chemicals. I haven't been able to dye my hair in, you know, years, which I miss because I used to be a blonde. <laughs> Yes, I know that sounds shallow, but I liked my blonde hair. And um, I don't wear much makeup because of it. I have a little bit that I wear sometimes. Um, but I generally avoid uh, things like that, although I can go out to the world now. I was so sick. I was bedridden for nine months. I couldn't do anything, couldn't be around anybody. Um, but here's the interesting thing about MCS. And now it does exist. Even though I used to think, no, it doesn't, until I got sick. You know, a lot of people got sick in New Orleans uh, because they were housed in those FEMA trailers and the formaldehyde fumes made them very sick. Um, so 
it's only till then that people started saying, okay, I guess there are people who were irritated by these things. I've always had a bad immune system anyway, you know, got cancer. Um, and I had allergies as a child, just just every allergy, mold, dust, pollen, cat. And so we're more susceptible to this. Um, but anyway, to make a long story short, um, MCS was harder to get through than having cancer. Now, I've survived cancer and I've survived MCS. But oddly enough, MCS is what gave me my music. Um, I got, I would, I'm normally a cheerful person most of the time. I mean, I get the blues like anybody else, but my nature is pretty, I'm upbeat a lot of times. But when I was sick, bedridden for nine months, when I got sick with all these respiratory problems, I didn't want to wake up in the morning. You know, I'd pray to God before I went to bed every night, God, please just take me, I'm so sick. That's how down I was. Uh, it was very hard to cope with this illness. And uh, so one day I was looking in the mirror because I couldn't dye my hair. I said, I like that blonde hair. And I was seeing the gray peeking through because I couldn't, I can't, you know, I can't do any of those chemicals anymore. I wear hairsprays unless it's a safe kind you can buy online or anything like that. And I was looking in the mirror and I started crying and I said, I got the gray gray, gray, running through my hair. And all of a sudden, a song came out. The first song I ever wrote. And i list that below. I, I, I put that song on YouTube before. And I wrote a whole song. And all of a sudden, it was like a floodgate opened. I started writing music. I started really writing songs because I did it to keep myself sane, because I think, had I not done it, I might be here today. That's how depressing this illness was. And so I wrote all, I kept writing songs every day to get through it. And in the interim, we ripped out the carpet, got my environment safe, did all we had to do, and I started to get well. And then I started taking guitar lessons when I felt up to it, and just doing the little things. And before I know it, more floodgates open, and I just keep writing music. And so I think that sometimes everything has a reason. And that if I had to walk through that fire again to get my music, because I had never been musically inclined, ever. I mean, I wrote poetry, and that was it. This was six years ago. I was 51 years old, I'm 57 now, an old bra. <laughs> And I got music in my life because of it. And I wouldn't have gotten the music had it not been for the multiple chemical sensitivity. So it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. And I just wanted to share that as a bit of a YouTube um, story experience. And sometimes the worst things in our lives turn out to be silver linings. And maybe this can also help someone that does have multiple chemical sensitivity um, or you know someone that has it if you don't believe it exists that's okay I get that all the time you know they finally are realizing this is a official disease they just don't know how to go about helping people but they're getting better at it um, or like are you suffer from it who knows maybe some of my subscribers suffer from it. But anyway, this is a long video. I don't know if you made it through this far, but this is it. And thanks, and have a good evening.